Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Breeze, Breezeway Productions' The Breeze, where we bring you the latest in independent films and film festival news. And we're excited to bring you uh, a great team of filmmakers here today that are fresh from the Slam Dance Film Festival for their film, Straighten Up and Fly Right. We have director, writer, Stephen Tannenbaum, and director, writer, and actress, Kristen Abate. How are you? Hey, thanks so much for having us. Right on. Well, thanks for, for coming on the show. And uh, tell us a little bit about Straighten Up and Fly Right. Kristen? Yes, I knew it was going to be me. <laughs> so straight I'll disagree or disagree. Yeah, exactly. That, that's how we work together anyway, right? So uh, Straighten Up and Fly Right is a, is a feature film that Stephen and I co-wrote together um, about a, a 20-something-year-old um, physically disabled dog walker who lives in New York City and has aspirations to be a writer, but is living in a very isolated and sort of uh, a world where she doesn't have a community. And she meets Stephen, who is in the film as well, and he becomes a mentor. And they go on this journey together to help each other, essentially, um, in becoming a chosen family and also in, in pursuing but aspirations that maybe she Disability here. Okay. Um, where, where did this concept come from? Were you walking through Central Park and then it just came to you? Were you guys at a coffee shop and talking about it or, or where, did it, where did it spring apart, uh, spring up? Well, first of all, Kristen and I lived together for, I don't know, how many, 10, 15, 20 years. And during that time, um, I essentially adopted her. She was, she was and is my daughter. Okay. And uh, so she knows everything there is to know about me, including stuff I wouldn't want anybody else to know. So if somebody was going to play a role of somebody who has the same physical disability as me, she would be the perfect actress to play that. Okay. Could you talk a little bit more about the disability and how it plays a role with uh, the character you portray? Well, she has what I have, which is ankylosing spondylitis, which is a severe form of arthritis. And uh, it causes curvature of the spine. And some people's heads are literally in their chest. They can't lift their head up. up just fortunately, that didn't happen to me. Um, but, you know, also your radiating uh, joints are affected. So for me personally, I was, um, both of my hips were replaced when I was 17. And, um, and then there were, there were a few accidents and things along the way. And um, so the, the inspiration, I would have to say for this film, I'd like to thank the former president of the United States because uh, I was watching TV one day. And uh, as you may remember, he had one of his thousands of famous moments where he was ridiculing a New York Times reporter who was disabled in front of the entire audience. So that inspired me to write this movie. The movie ended up not being anything about that, but I still feel obliged to thank him. And, um, and I, you know, I just, I just thought I should write something I know. Yeah, uh, that's one of the, the ground rules for writers to write, is to write yeah. what you know, and then you'll be able to get uh, the best script and results. For one criticism, you can't. Go ahead. I, I do know it. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, so, so Kristen, tell me about uh, the dog walking part of, uh, of the project. So where did, did you have a love for animals and you wanted to, to throw that in there or did that uh, help move the storyline along? Well, it's a little bit of both, um, not necessarily moving a storyline along, but when I was living um, in Stephen's, Stephen's house, um, at the time, the dogs, four of the dogs, or three of the dogs that we had um, were walked by a dog walker in the afternoon. And so we have, and he's actually in the film, we use his actual physical location as my workplace. And there's a scene where we're walking like 30 dogs 
he's actually our, was our dog walker at the time. Um, and so it was just sort of part of our everyday life interaction. Um, and one for the character having that kind of a job where she's not working with people and she's working with dogs and animals and sort of also being able to be on her own and not have to work alongside others or, or maybe not even, you know, being in a place where she would be, be challenged by, you know, her sort of situation, but that, you know, she's capable of having that kind of a job where people might not necessarily hire somebody, you know, in her position. Sure. Um, yeah, right. And so, so it's kind of like a mix. Again, this film really tells a lot about that world, but it's also really deeply influenced by our everyday lives and, um, and, and sort of that kind of that very natural feel because really we were just working with people that we know and love and also our dogs who right. unfortunately all three of them passed away. Wow. Um, you know, and we, there, there's, I, I don't know if I should say this or not, but there's a scene where we had to fake our dogs because one of them had passed and we needed a, con a shot for continuity that, you know, like two years later, mm -hmm. you know, so. <laughs> well, you got to do what you got to do to make the, to make it work. You know, you cheat yeah. it in, in whatever way you need to do. Uh, so that it fits. Yeah. And apparently that uh, that worked out well, because I know that there's some great news coming out of Slam Dance saying that you guys were uh, able to take home some awards. So tell me a little bit about that experience and uh, what you brought home with this film. Yeah, we we won the grand uh, jury. The Unstoppable Program, which is a program that was created um, last year by, by and for physically disabled artists, as well as artists with invisible disabilities. So it's one of the first programs in, fest in the film festival world that is created for and by, right? So that's a really important thing to, 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 to acknowledge that, that it, it is the community bringing, you know, this possibility to, to the industry and, and to our film and, and getting to walk away with this grand jury award was really exciting and surprising and this whole journey has been nothing but exciting and surprising <laughs> which is which is great it's good to keep things lively and uh when good news comes around everyone that's always welcomed uh steven what is that what does this award mean to you and uh where are you going to go with this project next um i was just very happy and um and and even based on why we made this film the fact that uh, they devoted a section of their festival to disability was just amazing. Cause like, you know, I'm not gonna go into details, but I've had many um, experiences with, you know, disabled situation in festivals. And this was the first time that I was completely supported by the festival in every way imaginable. So it was just felt a little unreal, to be honest. And uh, I hope it's it's the beginning. You know, we're just, um, everybody's included, not just disabled people, but, but everybody. And you know, and, and they don't have to be the best movie ever made the first time out, you know. Right. Certainly every able-bodied person has not made a great food film every time, but they get to keep coming and coming. So we'd like that opportunity too. Well, that I, I feel like you seize that opportunity and this is uh, wonderful news to, uh, to receive. And we hope our audience is able to check out Straighten Up and Fly Right. Where can people go to check out this film and learn some more about it? Um, right now, we have two festivals coming up. Uh, one in Milwaukee and one in Phoenix. Nice. And uh, we've just started, you know, uh, radi radiating out, you know, through the country and the world. So I'm sure we'll be in many more. And, you know, we hope, you know, we hope the movie goes even further than that. Right. Well, we uh, we're rooting for you as well. And we're happy to showcase this interview on our platform. And I want to thank you for stopping in, Kristen Abate and Stephen Tannenbaum, to talk about your film Straighten Up and Fly Right. And again, congratulations on the win at this year's Slam Dance Film Festival. Thank you very much.